rows in SQL can be tricky sometimes. This video will help you with the knowledge and SQL techniques to efficiently identify entries, eliminate redundancy, and maintain data accuracy for effective data analysis. My name is Abdul Kadir Solani. Let's get to work. Hi guys, on our video tutorial today, we are going to find duplicate rows in SQL using window function. Window function. And what is window function? Window functions apply aggregates, ranking and analytic functions over a particular windows or set of row. As well, we are going to use our over clause. Over clause is used with window functions to define that window. We are also going to use our partition by. Partition by divides the row into partitions so we can specify which row to use to compute the window functions. These functions will aid our queries as we go ahead with the example we have. So right now, what we need to do is very clear. We need to find duplicate rows in SQL using our window function. This is part of data cleaning. So let's do it. OK, um, right now, we are going to work on our PISA database. And then we are going to display all the duplicates because our mission here is to find the duplicate row in our table. So first, let's have a look at our table. So this is it. So in our table, we have PISA name, ID. We have our unit price. We have our PISA categories. We have PISA ingredients. So all these are what we are going to dissect but we need to focus on our major assignment, which is the fact that we want to find duplicate, extract duplicate from our table. So we are going to focus on some of the columns and extract the duplicate out of it. So the essence of this is to show the duplicate in our tables. So that is just what is it. So now um, let's start a query. So we are going to use our window function. First, let's start with select pizza, pizza underscore name, underscore ID. That's our column. We give it a comma, then pizza underscore category. That's our second column from Okay, so now we create a presidency and then select pizza underscore name underscore ID, then pizza underscore category, we give it comma, and then row underscore number. This is our window function over, over, we give it a bracket and we use our partition, partition by, and I said partition by, it divides the rows into partition so we can specify which row to use, so that's what it does. So we are dividing the role of partition of pizza underscore name underscore id with another column called pizza underscore category then we are ordering them by pizza underscore name underscore id also by our pizza underscore category category. Now we close our brackets as our n, this is an alias, from pizza 
underscore sys. Then we close our bracket again. So at this point in time, we give it as t, which is our table. Now, another enter, we give it a condition where t, which is our table, dot rn is greater than 1. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have, what is missing. Let's take a look. So what we have here in summary, we are indicating some of the columns, which is PISA name ID and PISA category into a subquery, whereby we indicate the same columns with our partition by so we can special to use and we've already done that which is our pizza name id and pizza category so they should be ordered by pizza name that category as rn which is an aliens from pizza sales as t now this part what it means is that okay i'm giving a condition that display any details that is above one that has more than one okay duplicate means having something showing twice or thrice so this condition means okay if it's more than one let me have them okay so but if it is one just let it be but if it's more than one meaning that if it's greater than one show them so those are the duplicates that we want to see now let's execute it Okay, now we have them. Yes, you can see we have pizza name. These are all duplicates. So we are combining a lot together just to extract and show all the duplicate we have. So that's it. On our second example, we are going to find the duplicate rows in SQL using the group by with the having clause. First, what is group by? Group by statement group rows that have the same values into the summary rows. The having clause is used to apply a filter on the results of group by based on the specific conditions. So with this definition, it will guide us on what to do. And it is very clear that you will understand during the process of the query what we are doing as our expansion better. Another way to find duplicate rows in SQL is by using the group by with the having clause. Yes, just like we illustrate in our first example, we use the window function, but right now we are going to use our group by with the having clause. So um, let's write our query. And we need to remember that our group by statement you know, it grouped the rows that have the same value into summary rows, okay? And then the having clause is used to apply a filter on the result of group by based on the specific condition. So right now, let's write our query. So now we type select our pizza underscore name underscore id pizza underscore category okay so from pizza sales that's our table then group by pizza underscore name yes this is it also group it by pizza underscore category okay now having like i said this is another condition count all our count is a function okay asterisk then greater than one okay in summary this is just 
Count all and display those who has more than one in, as my outputs. So that's just it. Okay. Um, we are using our group by at the same time using our having clause. And the having clause indirectly is we, we use it as a condition. Count everything and display those more than one. So we are focusing on two category, our pizza name ID and our pizza category. So now let's execute it. Yes, this is it. So we can all see our pizza name and ID, everything is all here. So this is how it works. Yeah, thank you. Please kindly subscribe, like and share for more videos. Thank you.